Hey guys, this volcano in Iceland is something, I tell you this, when you think it can't get any crazier, it does. This volcano says, hold my beer. So, and this is because the volcano is sending its lava somewhere where it could set off bombs, real war bombs. And you hear me right. And I'll get to this in a minute. This is absolutely insane. When I heard this, I was like, what? You gotta be kidding me. I mean, why are they even bombs where the lava could flow over? We'll get to this. And I just give you a hint. Dear US, you did something. It's crazy. So I'll give you a quick update. What's the status quo there? Because then you understand why the lava is flowing there. So we know the crack that fissure that opened is now about seven kilometers long that is long and you see a map here that the icelandic meteorological office has made there you see where the fissure is and with the lines you see where the lava is flowing and keep that map in mind because i'll show you where the bombs are in a minute so Basically, what was really, really strange when this eruption started is that the earthquakes kept coming and that larger earthquakes kept coming. Usually they stop once the lava starts flowing, right? The pressure's off, a flow path has been created. So it has drawn attention to scientists. The, the fact that after the eruption began, that these earthquakes were rumbling. So what the scientists are saying that this is explained by the fact that there must be greater tension in the Earth's crust. And why is that? They say that therefore more work is needed for the magma to rise because there is more tension in the crust. So what? what what's going on? So it seems the magma needed to work harder to rise to the surface. And why is that? Because it seems the magma did come up somewhere else. It didn't take the usual flow path that was leading it more towards Hagafell and south. Now it has stretched and opened up more to the north, which was unusual and quite unexpected. So in the beginning, just one crack was opened up and then magma could flow out there relatively unopposed. But now there is clearly more resistance. So the most likely explanation is it was now breaking a path that it hasn't, something like this it hasn't done since November 10th when it was forming this magma intrusion, when it was building this underground magma dike, this 15 kilometer long magma dike, the magma needed to grind to build a new tunnel. It's like mining. If you have your tunnel, it's easy to send the workers in and out. It's the same with magma. If the tunnel's already there, the magma can flow, the highway is paved. But if it's going to a new area, it needs to build the tunnel. And in mining, you need explosives. You need, it's a hard work to build that tunnel. And that's what the volcano is doing as well. And that's why it's been rumbling more. It continued to rumble. So something unusual happened that hasn't happened since November 10th. But, because the magma flow has reached now this far north and it hasn't done this since November 10th when it was forming that magma dike that does reach that far, right? It's 15 kilometers long basically from the sea underneath Grindavik, then in the Sutnuka Crater series passing Hagafell, Thorbjörn, and then Stora Skog fell and it's going up there. And since then we have seen fissures opening during these eruptions along that magma tunnel. So it is possible that the crust is being broken, but the main reason according to Benedict Gunnar of Feixson, he's the head of the deformation measurements at the Icelandic Met Office. He says the main reason is most likely that there's now more resistance for the magma to flow in this area. So all the cracks have been opened and the surrounding crust is just starting to push back. That's his explanation. And is this unusual? 
He says most of the time we see that magma makes its way to the surface and then when it's all done, all seismic activity drops right away. That's the norm. It just took longer this time, but it's decreasing right now. So he says it's not necessarily unusual, but it's just a reflection of the situation in the Earth's crust. So that's his explanation. And then let's get to the news. I saw this, I'm like, what? So there's a risk of explosions. I'm like, yeah, explosions. Well, usually that volcano is not too explosive. It has these lava fountains, right? But we know now the lava flows. It's a big lava carpet, like more than 12 square kilometers. That's really, really big. And it has caused wildfires as well, like these grass fires, moss fires that burn. And these fires are together with the lava burning at a U.S. military site, at an old U.S. military site. And what they're saying is it is a contaminated military site. And it's called Volga Heidi. You see it here on the map. And if you look at these pictures on the map, you can see Grindavik, Thorburn, the Blue Lagoon, and Stora Skogfell. And if you get that line, and then if you see where the lava is flowing, where these lava carpets are, if you compare it with the map that the Icelandic Metrologic Office has released, you can see it's in that direction. And there is not much to find if you Google Volga Heidi and stuff. So this is somehow still secretive. It was a military training site from 1952 to 1960, a US training site. So they must have brought ammunition and they say even bombs to that site. And uh, they say it's contaminated, but you can't get any details about it contaminated with what so but let's let's hear this what the Icelandic press is saying so we have the fires burning there now and the lava coming there now so it seems there's ammunition and even bombs down there are they buried I mean I, I would suspect that they're not lying around and it's probably stuff that they left behind because they didn't even know where, where it was, where they left it, maybe it's landmines, who knows, right? So now it's burning and it's very hot and the lava is flowing over it. That is absolutely crazy. So while the eruption at the Sudnuka crater series has stabilized, means the activity is stable, the outflow is kind of remaining the same, um, the lava is flowing mostly to the Northwest into that area and it's flowing over dry moss and associated vegetation and it's causing these fire so what the fire chief is, is saying he says the area that is on fire right now is very difficult he says it's actually the most difficult area that we had to deal with so far when it comes to wildfires. So, and that's the fire chief of Grindavik, Aina Swine Johnson. Um, and he's experienced with wildfires. He deals with wildfires all the time. So he says the area where it's burning, it's very off road, cracked roads and old stuff lying around. So. He says it's an old area where the army had, now it comes guys, bomb drills. And he says it's a dirty area, so bombs can be hidden there. What? <laughs> it's, sorry, I'm, I'm not laughing because it, I mean, it, it's kind of, it's not really funny. I'm just laughing because I'm like, I can't believe this. So they never cleaned it up where you, know, I mean, it's a volcanic area now. I mean, especially since that magma dike has formed since November 10th, I would have cleaned that up or thought about it. I mean, the good thing is, unless it's not really super big bombs, um, if bombs go off in that area, it's probably not going to hurt any people. But what is this doing to the volcano and the underground magma tunnels, magma chambers that are in this area, if it's a bigger bomb? 
and if it's buried, right? So then I don't, I don't know. I think this is crazy. I mean, I really thought this eruption is nothing special, so to speak, because it's not threatening anything. It's not so dangerous. So it's, yeah, the eruption is happening and it looks impressive, but it's not that dramatic as it was in the last eruptions when it was threatening Swartzengi and Grindavik and all that. So again, the fire chief says there is quite an area that is contaminated with bombs. And he says there is therefore a certain danger when there is fire and lava flowing over it. Yep. And you probably wouldn't want to send the firefighters there to extinguish the wildfire or do something else, right? I mean, the lava is very, very, very hot. So that is very concerning because it seems they also don't know much about it. They don't know at what depth are the bombs buried. So what's going on there? Um, and also the head of the Icelandic Coast Guard's special operations team confirms contaminated dangerous area with buried bombs so of course you raised the question and, and these experts were asked the question so could large explosions occur due to the lava that is flowing over it the heat of the lava so they don't know the answer was it's very difficult to say the danger is definitely existent. It's there. But they're saying we don't know exactly where the bombs are and how much pollution there is, meaning how much ammunition and how many bombs are there. But what we do know, there is definitely pollution there. Crazy. This is crazy and the fire chief is basically saying well that's the last thing we needed in addition right we didn't need more challenges so or new scenarios um <laughs> he says it would be nice to not have that problem right now to just skip this and go back to normal like wildfires and lava flows um but the fire chief says we will deal with this like with any other project and we will solve it good luck that's what i have to say so where how big is this area so what they're saying is that this old u.s army training area extends from Lidla skokfell you see it here on the map to Reykjanesbraut. Reykjanesbraut is the major highway basically if you see it here on the map that's con connects like Reykjavik with the Keflavik airport and from there you can you can take a turn and go down towards the Blue Lagoon and Grindavik so that how close to Reykjanes Braut is that contaminated area I mean did people even know about this I mean bombs could be set off by earthquakes as well if it's rumbling there and rocks are crushing uh, putting pressure on these bombs right this is, uh, I could make a joke now. When was the Blue Lagoon built? Was the army? There? Nope. Uh, I don't, there will not be any bomb <laughs> explode in the Blue Lagoon. At least not that I know of. That was just a joke on the side. Um, what they're saying is that they did try to clean this area three times, but that they're still finding, they call it things there. I mean, we know now what these things are and they're saying that it is extremely difficult to walk around there to drive there to cross that area um, because they don't have any equipment or anything there um, so basically what they come up with as conclusion and that's interesting if there's no one in the area there is no danger yeah that makes sense so but people are still walking up to the volcano and we know that one of these hikers broke his leg trying to walk there fell into a crack or got stuck into a crack and uh, needed a rescue operation sort of thing um so what they're confirming is despite the orders to not walk to the volcano people are defying these orders and they're walking there so 
probably not aware that the volcano is not the only problem that they're probably dealing with. They want to see the lava flow, so they might try to walk into that area. Just today, people were walking from Grindavik Vigo, that's the access road to the Blue Lagoon, and it goes further down south to Grindavik, to Little Skokfell. You see where Little Skokfell is on the map. And who knows how much further they were walking, right? So the question is, is it safe from them? And uh, what they're saying is this area, it's a little further south, so it's just lava flow flowing over it for the moment, right? So, but there is a northward trend in the eruption area, and uh, we will have to see, right? The wildfires do not threaten any infrastructure at the moment. Um, so what they're waiting for is basically what they're saying that this wildfire is burning itself out of the danger zone and then they say we will start to deal with the fires with the traditional methods i don't think the wildfires will be a big problem for the bombs i'd be more worried about the lava because it stays hot very long and it gives up the heat so i don't know where these bombs are, how close to the surface they are. But I thought I'll let you know because it's, this is absolutely crazy. So guys, that was a quick update about the eruption today and an unexpected update or unexpected news. Um, really, really crazy. So I'll stay on the pulse of this with you. Um, there's news about the sinking of the super yacht by Asian. Check out that video. It's really, really interesting, guys. And I'll see you here very, very soon with an update about Iceland and uh, an update about Campi Fligri. I just released an update yesterday. So that's in the end screen as well. So thanks guys, thanks for your ongoing support. Um, if you wanna join my channel as a member, now YouTube has given me a link where you can join that I can put in the description of this video so that you don't have to search for the join button. So it's there in the description of this video. Also follow me on my On The Pulse with Silky side. It's totally for free. Just click and follow so that we have another way to stay connected with each other of course you can buy me a coffee there and support the channel but if you are sub just subscribe there support follow it's for free and then you'll get emails from me if there's new eruptions or new, new pressing um events then i'll get i'll send you an email so i hope i see you here or there or everywhere and uh thanks guys <laughs> bye bye